Hi, I'm Prof. Johnny. Welcome to Goodwill Training and Assessment Center Incorporated. May kasabihan tayo na sa Diyos ang awa na sa tao ang gawa. So ano pa hinihintay natin? Tara na at gawa na tayo! Special greetings to Mr. Cadiz who always gives me positive comments to every tutorial video that I make. To uh, J. David and Virgilio Vicencio of Nueva Ecija. And to Mr. Arvin Galula who requested me to demonstrate how to cap multiple threads by the use of late machine. And of course, to all the viewers and subscribers to my YouTube channel. As I said, I'm going to demonstrate how to cut multiple threads by the use of late machine. Multiple threads may be double, triple, or quadruple depending on the number of starts around the periphery of the workpiece. I'm going to cut an 8 threads per inch double thread or a thread which has two starts and the procedure in cutting double threads by the use of lathe machine is as follows first step set up the lathe and cutting tool as for cutting single start thread since the form of the thread that i'm going to cut is an american national standard thread the compound rest is positioned 29 to 30 degrees angle to the right for a right hand thread next set the quick change gearbox to 4 TPI or threads per inch again the pitch of the thread that I'm going to cut is 1 8 inch or 8 TPI but since it is a double thread I have to set the quick change gearbox to 4 TPI to increase the lead to twice the pitch this one 4 TPI letter T inches number one the quick pinch gearbox third step cut the first thread to have the depth required for four threads per inch the formula for calculating the depth of thread for the American national form thread is depth of thread is equal to 0.61343 times the pitch over 2 so 0.61343 times 1 fourth which is the pitch of the thread divided by 2 is equal to 0 0.077 inch or 1.9 millimeters now let's cut the first start of the double thread Okay, this is the final cut for the first start of the thread. Step number four, leave the cross feed handle set to the depth of the thread and note the reading on the compound rest graduated collar. The reading of the compound rest graduated collar is 0 0.092 of an inch or 2.3 millimeters since the compound rest is positioned at 29 degrees step number five withdraw the threading tool from the work using the compound rest handle so i will now withdraw the compound rest handle by moving it counterclockwise Yan, then pwede ko i-reset sa zero, yung starting point natin para sa susunod nating 
start ng thread. Step number six, revolve the work exactly one half turn by the following method. Remove the work from the lathe with the lathe dog attached. Replace the work in the lathe with the tail of the dog in the slot exactly opposite the one used for the first thread. Note, an accurately slotted drive plate or face plate may be used for this method of indexing. A special indexing plate may also be used for this purpose. Step number 7, reset the crossfeed handle to the same position as when cutting the first thread. I will now reset the crossfeed handle to zero. And for the last step, cut the second thread feeding the compound rest handle until the graduated collar is at the same setting as for the first thread. Okay, I will now cut the second start of the thread. For the final cut, the same depth or setting of the compound rest graduated collar as for the first thread. So the path and depth of cut nothing is 2.3 millimeters since the compound rest is positioned or at 29 degrees. Okay, let's check whether the finished thread has two starts. One. Two. Now let's check the threads by the use of a double thread master nut perfect it fits smoothly without end play that's how a double thread is cut by the use of late machine now let's have a Q&A portion Prof. Johnny, what is the relationship between the lead and the pitch for a single start and multiple start threads? Take a look on this. The pitch of a thread is always the distance from a point on one thread to the corresponding point on the next thread. The lead is the distance and not advances lengthwise in one complete revolution. On a single start thread, the pitch and the lead are equal. On a double start thread, the lead will be twice the pitch. On triple start thread, the lead will be three times the pitch. Thus, multiple threads are used when it is necessary to obtain an increase in lead or an advances lengthwise rapidly in one complete turn. See you again! Thank you very much.